Welcome to Couples News. That's right, if you're a couple finding the regular news to be a little monotonous with the old negativity, then get your fact fix and, dare I say, some guidance from an actual couple who will report the highlights that occurred in their relationship during the week. Starting us off tonight, a possible medical breakthrough that could change the fitness industry forever. It was discovered by wife over the weekend that you can raise your husband's heart rate without any physical exertion at all. You just simply attend a social gathering and vocalise your desire to have kids very soon. In investigative news now, husband is trying to figure out how soon exactly is very soon. <laughs> <laughs> Medical news. After a 10-minute ingrown toenail surgery, husband throws up a shaka so his mates on Insta think it was the snowboarding accident or some shit. <laughs> to the weather now, and a reminder to purchase two jackets, as the one who checked the weather app before going to breakfast apparently has to give theirs up to the one that said, nah, it'll be fine. <laughs> Some cyber news. After the release of an article detailing how to track the history of what your Google Home device has been asked, a Google Home device mysteriously goes missing. <laughs> to entertainment news, wife thinks she's worthy of a Netflix stand-up special after hungover husband, who slept until 9.30am, gets greeted with, well, good afternoon. <laughs> after stumbling on a folder labelled Tinder profile on an old laptop, wife is convinced husband's cat allergy is bullshit. <laughs> to retail news now, according to wife, showing you a photo of a present they thought about buying you is the same thing as actually buying you the present. <laughs> In finance news coming from Lord Tarasius, that's a bit fucking rich. To transport now, and speaking of surprises, in a deal that didn't surprise anyone, a husband who agreed to drive to the party if the wife drove back ends up driving both ways, doesn't he? In some breakthrough medical news tonight, after washing, drying and sort of folding the bed sheets and doona cover, husband is convinced his shit doesn't stink. In some troubling news, though, wife is now faced with the decision of putting the doona cover back on herself or waiting out husband, getting around to it, and then sleeping under a doona that isn't tucked all the way into the corner bits of the cover. We'll bring you updates throughout the evening if and when the doona cover unfolds. <laughs> Bit of play on words there. Good night. Well, yeah!